Today on BeamNG, we're jumping luxury cars on the Car Jump Arena. Stick around till the end because we're going to be jumping a Range Rover SUV. Let's go. All right, we're going to be doing some luxury cars on the Car Jump Arena today. I guess we're just going to try some of these out, see how far they go. We've done the supercars, muscle cars. We've got a couple other videos like that if you want to check those out. We did some trucks and now we're at the luxury cars. So I think we're just going to start with the Porsche. We'll start with this and uh, see where we end up. Start it up. The spoiler comes up for stability. How are we gonna get to 170? Oh shit. Yeah, these are gonna haul ass. Not as fast as the supercars, obviously, but these mods are pretty good. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Went pretty far too. It's a pretty smooth landing. Let's try it again. Jump number two. I gotta start paying attention to where we land because I never pay attention. It's about 160. Try to keep it steady. Oh fuck. We're already flipping. 320. Oh, this one's just gonna full front flip. Is it flipping back over? Oh, there we go. This thing lands pretty smooth. I definitely thought it would go farther though. Hmm. Okay, let's try it again. Spoiler comes up. Let me give us some downforce, probably. Try to keep it steady in the air. No. It just lands on the. That's just where it's destined to be. About 350. Why does it just land on the roof every time? Weird. Yeah, it's pretty consistent when it crashes. Literally the exact same crash every time. I'm doing it one more time. See if we can get some kind of different landing. Exact same thing. It does the exact same thing every time. Are they all going to be like this? The exact same thing. Every time. And then it'll flip over right... Oh, it didn't flip over this time. Let's see if we can get a barrel roll or something different in here. Nothing. All right, well, yeah. this thing's super consistent on how it lands. I don't know why. I don't know what the deal is. I wanted to see some more damage. All right. Well, we've jumped that one enough now. Probably go on to the next one. I don't know. What else do we have? Uh, I think I got a... Yeah. Got a Bentley here. Very quiet. This is a good mod, too. This thing looks... Look at the interior on this. God damn. Is it shift? Oh, there's no floor. Oh, fuck. Well, the rest of it looks good, though, right? Look at that. Oh, the gear doesn't actually change, but... I mean, the rest of it looks pretty good. This is... This is nice. This is a good mod. All right. Let's see how far we get in the, uh, Bentley. Very quiet. Sounds like a damn electric vehicle. But it goes pretty fast. It seems like it's really heavy. I don't think it's going to go farther than that Porsche. Oh, it's just floating. Oh, my God. It is. It's going to hit like 410? 420? Oh, wow. Just annihilated. Not bad. I mean, if we're talking total distance, this thing went the furthest. Holy. Yeah, and that was a good crash. And the distance on that 420, that's farther than the Porsche got. I didn't think it was going to go that far. Because it's a fucking boat. All that weight? All right, jump number two. Let's see if we can get a little bit further this time. No, it's going to be about the same. These have all been pretty consistent. If I can see the crash this time. There we go. And that looks good. Yeah, this thing just... Once it hits the ground, it just doesn't stop. It's a tank. Not bad, though. What do, did, what, did we rate the first one? It's pretty good. It went pretty far. A lot of destruction. Decent speed. 8 out of 10. Porsche? What do we give the Porsche? Just because it didn't really just it wasn't very destructive. It went pretty far. We'll give a seven out of ten. 
I don't know what the ratings. The rating system has nothing to do with this. It's literally just based on distance. I think that's what we base our videos on. So the rating is just for me personally and for you guys. I want to you give me your ratings down in the comments. Let me know. Let's do the Cadillac. Cadillac CTS. No, we don't want the drag edition. Maybe. Maybe we'll check that out at the end. Damn, this one looks pretty good, too. These mods are so good. Everything I've used on here has been a free mod. Damn. Shifter work? Oh, the shifter works. Look at that. Stay down. Look at that. Okay, it keeps resetting my... Let's, here, let's just do this. Look at that. It puts my eyes up right away. Damn. Attention to detail. Alright. Let's get to the jump. Number one, Cadillac, CTS, base model. This thing looks nice. Much faster. 175 off the ramp. Oh, we're gonna have a Porsche situation here. It's gonna land just like the Porsche. Oh, yeah. Damn, that was pretty good. What did we get to? Hold on, hold on. What's that? One, two, three, three, ten. Oh, yeah, that's destructive. See, that's what we want to see. Damn. The details in the engine. Does it still work? It's fired up. No, it does not. Surprisingly. That was pretty good. I like that one. It's a good looking mod. Alright. I don't think we're going to beat 175. That's about what it's going to get to. Start whipping again. About the same thing. Oh, full spin. Holy shit. That was awesome. Still got the speed. This has been one of the best crashes I've seen on the car jump arena. Cadillac is, is awesome. Probably 9 out of 10. I gotta give it a 9 out of 10. The distance... I mean, we hit like, what, 320, did I say? I don't remember now. Yeah, about 320. So it wasn't as far as the Bentley. But it's a great mod, and that was a great... I love the destruction. I like the crashes, okay? That's why I do this. I like the crashes. Yeah, 9 out of 10. Um, What else do we have? Did the Porsche Cadillac. I need... Boom. Here we go. The Mercedes. Check the interior on this one. There we go. The LEDs? I don't know why they're purple. I think magenta? I'm colorblind. I like the touchscreen. Mention the detail, the fine leather. Touchscreen in the back? What? This thing is nice too. These mods. These people put so much time into these. It's it's insane. Now to the test. How far is this thing gonna go? The Mercedes S 500 Formatic. Double whoa. Double sunroof. About 166. All these things, they just start flipping. About 290. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. We gotta do some other crash tests with these. These long jumps are awesome. But I wanna do some like rollover, stuff like that. Look at that. Full speed into the barrel roll. Damn. No water, no pool. Oh, we did. We landed in the pool. That's all right. Yeah, these luxury cars seem to crash the best. Didn't go as far as the Bentley, though. What are we at? Three, three, nine. What did I say? I, I don't pay attention to this. I got to start remembering. Okay, second jump. This thing is quick. Oh, God. Same thing as before. Yeah, about 280. Folds up instantly. Double front flip into the barrel roll. Oh my god. There goes the engine. The thing was spinning so fast it ripped the engine, transmission, everything out. That was awesome. I'm doing also, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 as well. Distance wasn't great, but that crash was right up there with the Cadillac. I could watch that stuff all day. What? Um, 
I think I have a couple more. All right, factory model edition, Rolls Royce. Let's change the color on this one though. We haven't done that yet today. It's all been like grays and blues and... Did I mention I'm colorblind? Let's just do that. Let's do white on white. Dark gray, Porsche was dark gray. Yeah, we'll do white. All white rolls. This thing is sick. Check the interior as we do. Right hand drive. Are they all like that? Literally had no idea. Didn't even expect it to be. I'm a fucking idiot if uh, I, I had no idea. Detail, awesome. Is that a spinning dial for shifting? Dude, this thing is insane. I've never seen such a vehicle. There's one in the back too. I don't know what that does then. That's not for shifting, right? It's gotta be like mirrors or some shit. All right, right-hand drive. I guess Rolls Royce is a right-hand drive. Maybe just this one. I don't know. I wonder if there's any way to put the emblem down. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Special vehicle keys. Oh, I've already got that. Damn, I'm stupid. No special vehicle keys on this. I thought that would be something they would put in there because that's like what they're known for, right? Being able to get the... Uh... Oh, God. Oh, God. Being able to get the emblem to go down. You know? Too bad we can't. All right. Rolls Royce, jump one. Just quiet like the Bentley. Probably gonna go as far as the Bentley too. It's just a giant fucking boat that goes 180 miles an hour. Oh my god, it did. It's gonna be hit like 410. It's gonna be ex pretty much the exact same as the Bentley. Oh wow, that thing collapsed. Oh my god. And just slides down? Oh my god, that's fucking cool. Right into the pool. Oh my god, that was great. No slide. At 180 miles an hour down the hill. What a great crash. Alright, let's fire it up. Jump number two. For the Rolls Royce. Right hand drive all the way down. Barrel roll. Still gonna hit like 400. The Bentley got just a little bit farther. This is great. This is a great crash. These luxury cars have been crashing so much better than the regular ones. More than the other car. They've been crashing so much better than the other cars that we have jumped. Oh yeah, stay out of the pool. Damn. Brutal. All right, I give that one an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10. Pretty destructive. I did like the nose slide on the first jump. That was, that was fucking awesome. But yeah, the Bentley went a little bit further on that one. Um, what else do we have here? That's about it for luxury. I mean, Audi? Does an Audi count as a luxury vehicle? Yeah, we'll try it. Which one looks like the most luxury? Most luxurious? I don't know, the TF. Let's try the Quattro. Yeah, I think I would, I would just classify it. It's like a lower end luxury car, I'd call it. Check the interior. Shifter doesn't work. Okay, I've said. Really, my standards are pretty high now after seeing uh, these other vehicles. I need the, the details, you know. Looks really good, though. I can't believe people make these. Like, this is. I would never be able to make one of these mods. This seems so fucking difficult. All right, which color are we doing? Which color vehicles you guys want to see? Let me know in the comments. Because I never. I don't know what to fucking. What color to put? I just go out here and get a random one. That orange, that actually looks pretty good. I'll do that. Forgot to change the license plate. You always need to change the license plate. Just to let everybody know. <clears throat> know what I mean? Know what I mean? Alright. Audi A6. Jump number one. Maybe it's not technically luxury. Do you think it's a luxury car? Let me know. I think it's lower end luxury. It's not like a Mercedes or... Bentley, obviously. This one's gonna land right on its dome. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Keep it in slow motion. There's still. Oh, yeah. Barrel roll into the barrel roll. Come on. No, it's just gonna slide out. Really wanted to see the barrel roll. Slides to a stop. I like that color, though. Very nice. I, I would drive an Audi A8. I, I'd take one, you know? 
They're nice. It's A6, I mean, obviously. A6, clearly. All right, let's see what the distance is. The first time we jump these, I'd never pay attention to the distance. I literally just do the destruction. That's the only thing I look at. I'm not gonna lie. Oh God, S straighten out. Oh God, what are we hitting? Three, call it 310. Still not gonna be enough. A little bit safer this time. Is it still, are we still running? Oh no, or there we go. It was hauling ass. I was still in slow motion. That's why I thought it was so slow. Damn. A6, not too bad. First crash was pretty good. I mean, I'd, I'd give it a, uh, I'd give it an eight out of 10. Pretty good crash. Distance was all right. It actually went farther than I thought it was going to. We'll give it an eight out of 10 on that one. One more vehicle. I think this would be classified as luxury, right? Yeah. This thing sounds like it has a fucking diesel in it. Is it supposed to sound like that? If I can tune it, let's, let's throw the V8 supercharged. Do these have V8s? What's a 6.5 sound like? No way. What about a 3.0 liter? I feel like that sounds more, more correct. Right? Whatever, this is the one that it came with, the supercharged V8 petrol. Hmm. All right, I don't know if this is right, but this the V8 was the one that was in here. Wait a minute. We ripped the engine off. We take the hood off. Is this what is normally in? Oh, oh. Is this what's normally in a Land Rover? V8 diesel? I doubt it. Okay, that's the one it gave us though, so we're sticking with it. All the other ones we did factory as well, so. Starting with this, uh, yeah, we'll just throw an SUV in at the end. See if this one gets destructive. Land Rovers are luxury, right? Scratch everything I said, it's Range Rover, not Land Rover. Maybe it is a diesel V. It's not a diesel, I don't think they have diesels. Either way. We're getting up to 160. See how far we get. Oh, this thing's stable. Oh, this thing's not gonna crash at all, I don't think. It's gonna land on all fours and be fine. Four, 10, 20, 30. Oh my God, this is the farthest. Blows the doors off. Oh, wow. That was pretty good. I didn't think it was gonna go that far. I mean, it's got that V8 in there. Well, it doesn't have the V8 in anymore. It's laying on the ground. Well, that's good. All right, let's try a second jump. Does this classify as like a bonus vehicle? Like, is it luxury? But it's SUV. Oh, this is, we're not, we're gonna land perfectly. Think you'd survive this? You land in this? Oh no, you're getting obliterated. There's a fire. Okay, we are on fire right now. Woo. Damn. Yeah, the V8, the V8 diesel. I don't think that's what it's, uh, so I don't think that's what's supposed to be in here. All right, well, there you have it. Um, I think the Bentley won. I mean, the Land Rover, that's a luxury vehicle too. Does it count as a luxury vehicle in this competition? I don't know, you let me know. Land Rover, I keep saying Land Rover, it's a Range Rover. But the Range Rover went the part of this. But also, I don't know if that engine's correct. It's up in the air. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um... Like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. it. Helps me out a bunch, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.